Hello, my name is Sharif Islam. I'll be talking about data standards and interoperability challenges for Biodiversity Digital Twin. I would like to thank my co-authors for the contribution to the abstract and also for this presentation. I'll be focusing on the BioTT project. This is a project funded by the European Union. The goal is to build a digital twin prototype that will provide advanced models for simulation and prediction capabilities through practical use cases addressing critical issues related to global biodiversity dynamics. The project brings in 22 different partners and also experts in biodiversity research, high-performance computing, artificial intelligence, digital training, and FAIR principles. For more information, you can visit biodt.eu. So what is a digital twin? A digital twin is a virtual representation of real world entities and processes and synchronized at a specified frequency and fidelity. Here fidelity refers to the level of precision captured by the digital twin in comparison with its physical counterpart. More specifically, a digital twin can be composed of different types of data and a model that is the representation in terms of behavior and an application that connects the data and model in a way that makes the outputs of the model relevant given the specific purpose of the DT. Since different scopes require different behavior and fidelity, there cannot be a single twin answering all possible questions. So we're exploring different use cases and different prototypes in this project. However, at the same time, we're finding common components and parameters and metadata that can bring things together. The BioDT project also responds to key EU and international policy initiatives, including the EU Biodiversity Strategy, EU Green Deal, UN Sustainable Development Goals, and Destination Earth. The project also brings in different research infrastructures, GBIF, LifeWatch, Elter, and Disco, bringing in different data and services, expertise, and at the same time, the community behind these infrastructures. Some of the challenges can be categorized the following ways and also the path towards solution. Metadata are important component as different types of data will be coming in. This is crucial for findability and context and important for fair principle. We'd like to use controlled vocabularies to be consistent in clarity in data interpretation. As different domains will be coming together, we want to enable harmonization and meaningful integration of diverse data through semantic mapping. And as much as possible, use existing standards to build the foundational frameworks. Combining biodiversity data, which includes event and evidence information with direct environmental measurements presents a multi-phase of challenges. And this integration is essential to understand how environmental factors influence biodiversity and the behavior of models. For example, in this forest digital twin, we're asking questions like, how will forest biodiversity change under different forestry and climate change scenarios? And how can these predictions be utilized in conservation and adaptive forest management? Posing this question to the digital twin application can provide the answer, for example, finding the most appropriate forest management strategy given certain parameters. And as you can see in the schematic, we need different components and configuration coming together to build this digital twin and provide the answer to the stakeholders. You can go to this uh, Zenodo link to find out more information about these use cases. And also the BioDT website has more information about other use cases. One component towards the solution is the FAIR Digital Object Framework. FAIR Digital Object Framework provides a way to think about an interoperability layer that is an abstraction separate from the research infrastructures and also the domain-specific data repository. In this implementation, these metadata records are connected to the persistent identifier system, provides a way 
to think about mandatory attributes across different domains and digital objects, extend those attributes for other use cases, and also provide types and operation that will be connected to different services. This is important to bring together different data and models and create a harmonized abstraction layer, and also provide opportunities to think about how to implement semantic mapping and crosswalk techniques to provide machine actionable metadata. Let's look into the models. Models for BioDT are formal representations of problems and processes implemented through equations, algorithms, or a combination of both. So we're thinking about how to describe these models with different types of metadata that can work with different use cases across different domains. And we're asking questions, for example, what is the format of the input data? What types of data does the model accept? What is the format of the output data? Where and how can the model be accessed? What steps are needed to run and test the model? And are there parameters that are used to generate a particular version of the model? You can visit the GitHub repository for more information about this metadata and the profiles we're thinking about. And I also highly recommend this paper that came out recently where we talk about the digital twin for BioDT and how different components can provide the frameworks. The data and models require a robust computing infrastructure. In this project, we're working with the Lumi supercomputer to build the prototype digital twins. We're also exploring how other infrastructure can come in and be integrated. Software plays an important role as the use cases will require different types of software tools. We also need software for data acquisition, storage, processing, and analysis. So coordinating this diverse software component is a crucial aspect of BioDT. We're also looking into workflow, the workflow representation. This is again, the metadata interoperability issue. How can we describe all of these processes in a standardized procedure and protocols? We're looking into research object crate or RO crate to organize and manage these digital objects within different workflow and provide that abstraction that can work in different infrastructure. Governance and stakeholders is an important component along with the technical implementation. As the research infrastructure vary in governance approaches, in this example, you can see there's a difference in different countries with top-down and bottom-up models. We place a strong emphasis on aligning the technical and data standard discussions among research infrastructure and stakeholders. And this alignment will foster synergy, enable the project to leverage diverse expertise and resources effectively. In this study, we looked into how these differ, this fragmentation differs and how we can come together to provide the background for digital twin building. In conclusion, I would like to highlight the groundbreaking and transformative approach the Biodiversity Digital Twin App framework can provide. It can also leverage collaborative research infrastructure and partnerships, and the foundation of BioDT rests on robust data standards, including those defined by TADWIC. Thank you for your attention, and I also like to thank you, thank the BioDT Consortium and the Work Package 5 team for providing the support for some of this work.